वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज आर्टीरियल सप्लाई ऑफ लिटल वॉल ऑफ नोज सो आई वुड बी ड्रॉइंग स्केमेटिक डायग्राम ऑफ ए पैरासिजेटर सेक्शन ऑफ नेजल कैविटी शोइंग द लिटल वॉल फ्रॉम द मीडियल आस्पेक्ट ओके सो दिस इज द नेजल कैविटी this is the superior concha the middle concha this is the inferior concha okay this is the hard palate this is the upper jaw and this is the incisive canal so for descriptive purposes of a easiness of study of the arterial supply of the lateral valve nose the lateral valve of nose has been divided into four quadrants okay this is the antero superior quadrant this is the postero superior quadrant this is the antero inferior quadrant and this is the postero inferior quadrant and each quadrant will have its own blood supply or the arterial supply so first look into the antero superior quadrant the antero superior quadrant will be supplied by two arteries known as the anterior ethmoidal artery which is a branch from the ophthalmic artery in the orbit and also the posterior ethmoidal artery which is also a branch of the ophthalmic artery in the orbit okay so let us mark this anterior ethmoidal artery posterior ethmoidal artery okay the postero superior quadrant is supplied by the lateral branches of the sphenopalatine artery which is a branch of the maxillary artery which comes into the lateral wall of the nose from a foramen known as the sphenopalatine foramen so from here comes the sphenopalatine is a branch from the maxillary artery and will supply the postero superior quadrant okay now the postero inferior quadrant the postero inferior quadrant is supplied by the branches of the greater palatine artery which pierces the perpendicular plate of palatine bone which was forming the posterior part of the lateral wall of the nose so and the greater palatine artery as we know are the branches from the maxillary artery third part of maxillary artery coming out from the pterygo palatine fossa through the greater palatine foramen into the hard palate so if this was the location of the pterygo palatine fossa triangular fossa okay from the apex of this triangular fossa comes out the greater palatine canal and from this greater palatine canal comes out the greater palatine artery and enters into the oral cavity okay so when it comes out of the oral cavity here is a bone which is forming the lateral wall of the nose is known as the perpendicular plate of palatine bone and the, this artery gives some branches which pierces this bone and comes into the lateral wall of the nose these are the branches of the greater palatine artery which is supplying the postero inferior quadrant okay now look into the antero inferior quadrant the antero inferior quadrant is supplied by two arteries the facial branches from the facial artery and from the greater palatine artery so first we look into the greater palatine artery how does this artery comes into this antero inferior quadrant the greater palatine artery when comes into the oral cavity goes along the lateral part of the hard palate and on the groove which is present in the lateral part of the hard palate runs anteriorly and enters through this fossa which is known as the incisive fossa or incisive canal and will enter into the nasal cavity and supplies the 
anto imperial quadrant okay so let us mark this artery greater parietine artery okay now as i mentioned this is also blocked by another branch which is known as the facial artery so if this is the facial artery this facial artery will give some lr branches to the nose and this lr branches will supply the later wall of the nose the anto inferior quadrant of the nail later wall of the nose so this is the facial artery so now you understood how the all the four quadrants are supplied by different arterial branches so if you summarize anto superior quadrant anterior mudder posterior mudder postero superior quadrant spino parietal artery spino parietal artery the postero inferior quadrant branches from the greater parietal artery which pierces the perpendicular plate of parietal bone enters into the later wall of the nose the anto inferior quadrant from the greater parietal artery which comes to the incisive canal and from branches from the facial artery supplies the anto inferior quadrant so this completes the arterial supply of the later wall of the nose thank you